Hello everyone, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now, last time around we got uh, train connections up into Townsville and Lilliput, right? And I was thinking from Townsville we could go up to Riverdale and connect to the rest of the passenger rail network. Now, that's going to be a slight challenge over here. We already have a rail station here, which is too short, uh, I think. Uh, and we've got this massive cliff face here. And the question is going to be whether I can get a track out of there and get it up to Townsville. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is just see if I can actually do that. So, while well, we can get... Uh, okay. We can. Entirely underground, but we can. Okay, so that's what we're going to end up doing. Right. Okay. We're going to need a, another, uh, we're going to need another track here, here, so we'll configure the station. And we just need to make sure that we make the uh, the bit uh, under the underground over here long enough that uh, the trains can turn around. And that's going to be the critical part there. Uh, right, we need to do that. And, you know, while we're at it, let's put lids on here yeah okay now uh, what I need to do is bring this out and we'll just bring it right up to Townsville just like that and what did we break What? What? Why did... What? What? Why? Okay, I don't get why that one broke. All I did was connect a freaking track to it. Okay. We do this. And we do this. Right. Why did... What? Okay. Well, it looks like now. Where is it? Still stuck. Now it's happy. Okay, so there's some dumbosity in the uh, routing thingy there. Right, okay. Now, uh, right. So the, the way that unpicking worked there is we were taking advantage of the, the way building track will erase a train and now it no longer counts as occupying the track. Now here, we're going to need to have the split point the crossover point back further. I'm just going to bring the track all the way out. Okay. Now, we're going to have to have the crossover point probably back around here. Yeah. Probably back around there. Uh, right. 
Okay, now we'll uh, stick some signaling in here. We can close that, right? We can do this, and I think we can get away with just one signal in the middle here. And underground here I don't mind so much because we're just punching through a mountain here. Okay, right. Uh, and this is going to be RVRD, okay. So now we're going to grab this, we're going to rename it to Asgard Riverdale, right? And we're going to manage the line from we're going to be Townsville. We're going to add a station here and then back here. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to do this, manage the vehicles. And I think we're going to need another one. Okay. Well, that's going to be uh, less than ideal here. Um, I probably should bulldoze this road and extend the station. Maybe bulldoze it back here. But then we're going to end up with this massive canyon, right? And I'm not sure that's the ideal way to do things. But, you know, we've got this old station here, right? And we're just coming into it. So I'm going to leave it alone for the moment. Uh, is in uh, Transport Fever uh, 2, that will work for a, uh, a connection. So, uh, right. Now, where is the train coming this way? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking that's the train to watch here. Okay, so we'll leave that up. Now, the other path is coming out of Lilliput and heading into Springfield. Now, from Springfield, I think I want to do a two-way connection here. I think I want to come down to, well, I want to come down to El Dorado, but I also, I think, want to come into Bedrock. But I definitely want to come into El Dorado. So... Uh, we're going to need another, uh, we're going to need a platform here. Now, I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking we could stick the platform coming out this way, uh, off of here. So, let's, uh, let's look at the thing here. We've got one, two, three. And to get 320 meters, we'd have a long platform. Uh, but let's do this. Let's make it... We can get to six. That's probably long enough. Okay, now, if we go platforms, uh, we can extend the platform here. Yep. Yeah, you know, I think I think that's what we'll do. Uh, we can get one more platform length here if we take out the side buildings here. Yeah, and then we can go tracks and no, we can't. Uh, okay, we'll pause this. We take these out and we move them. Yeah. Uh, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. You know what? If we do this, yeah, then we do passenger building. This one fit? No. This one fit? Yes. Put the passenger building there question is, do we have the appropriate, uh, well, if we, yeah, we do have tendrils. So, yeah, we'll do that. Good. Uh, that's exactly what I want there. So that gets me a full length platform. Good. 
let's uh, let's get things going again. I could also stick another platform over here somewhere and stairs. You know what? I think we can probably do that. If I put a platform here, uh, misc stairs. Do I, I get tendrils? Okay. Yeah, that's that's what we want to do. Uh, right. No warnings. Okay. Good. Right. Okay. We need to do something else if we're going to do that, though. Misc. We need that to have stairs. Yes. Okay. Good. Right. Okay. So that's a little bit of cheese there. Right. Okay. Apologies for making anyone dizzy waving the uh, mouse thing around there. Now, we're, we're coming around from here, and we're going to come into Springfield, and this is going to come in, like, come in across probably... How is that going to come across? Yeah, it's going to come across into the middle of Springfield here. Okay. Pause. Uh... We're just going to come right through the middle. Okay. Now, we need a station, right? So that's uh, a building with two tracks. High speed. Max length. Ah! Okay. And it goes in... Right about here. Yeah. I think if I move it back to about here. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to go in here. We're going to configure it. And we're going to get rid of these. Right. And then we're going to go passenger buildings. Now. That one gets tendrils. Okay. And that one doesn't fit. But that one does, and it gets tendrils. Okay. So we've got a connection point there. Good. Now, let's do something clever-ish. Uh, what's that? We're going to build rails. Uh... Oh, that's clever, is it? Well, maybe. Uh, right, so we come out of here. Like this. Uh-huh. Now, we need to come around like this. Aha! We are going to get a bridge. Good. How's that one fixed? That looks dumb. Let's, let's use that one. Yeah. Uh, let's try that, and then this. Yeah, that's not ideal, but I think it'll work. Okay, so far so good. Yep, we can definitely accept that. Now, how do we get out of here over to here? Well, let's just crow fly it and see if it connects on. Too much slope. Where? Not there. So it's overall too much slope, is it? Okay. Well. Well, okay, so, yeah, that's going to be a slight uh, problem, isn't it? Well, let's, let's go up. Now, if we go up at that rate, can we get across? Yeah, we can. Okay. What? No. Do that. Um, 
lengthen this just a bit. Yep. Okay. So that gets us out of the station. And that's kind of what I want to do there. And it gets us away from that road. Now let's see if we can crow fly it. Where where are we going? Okay, where are we going? Over there. Right. Okay. Now, if we grab the rail and we pick this one up. Now, that is too much slope, but that's only if we crank it really sharp like that. I think, which way is it sloping? It's a question, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's uh, contour lines. Ah, okay. So, Springfield. is four meters and where are we going el dorado is 204 meters so we're going down towards springfield okay we're going down well Okay. Yeah, that's definitely going max down bubble. Okay. Well, let's see if we can bring it around this way. Oh, let's uh, quickly jump over here and look at this. Okay, so the train comes in. And it stops and drops off a bunch of passengers, picks up a bunch, picks up 36, 37, and okay, the switch is far enough back. Good. Okay. Right. We're going over here. Right. So, we're going over here, right. Where's El Dorado? Over there. Okay. Right. We've come up, come over here now. Now, does that... No. Yeah, that's... That's not going to... Okay, so we've gone across that way. Which, which side is it? Okay, that side. Okay, so we come through here. We'll come out of here level to about there. Okay. Yep. Good. Now, we need to go up. Okay. We need to go maximum up bubble. Now. Where do we pop out if we keep doing this? Well, we'll go up to there. Yep. Now, let's see from here, can we connect here? No. Right. Okay. So what that tells me is that we have a rather significant uh, gap to bridge still. Okay, 
So I think we're going to need to helix this. Uh, but we could pop it around here. Yeah, we could pop it around here. Use concrete. Yeah. And then we could pop it around this way. Yeah. Yeah, we could pop it around here. Okay. Now, from here, does it connect? Yes, it does. Okay. Now that's going to be one really crazy viaduct. Okay. Now let's take a look. Now we going around here might be the way the the proper way to go. Um it might. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can if I can finagle that. Okay, so that means we back this up. Come on. Okay, now from there, let's see where we can get. We can go up here. We can get up to here. Yeah. Say to there. Yep. Yeah. Now, we can come across here. Yeah. Now, from there, can we connect up to here? Yes. Now, oh, how bad's that? You know what? I think I'm okay with a viaduct above the forest there. Okay. Well... That was way more com complicated than uh, might have been ideal. Uh, okay. Well, first of all, we need to uh, replace this one with the correct bridge. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get in so we can see what we're doing. Now, here. What if we do this? No. So, we do this. Okay, now you can wang this around. Okay. And around here, we got a slow corner there. That's fine. And then we come down here. Right. Across the valley again. And then this should connect up. This is a little more complicated than I was expecting. Yeah. Okay. And then here we connect. Good. Now we can actually extend... the line into El Dorado, which we are calling, who knows? Uh, right. What are we, we're calling it, no, what are we calling it? Eld, okay, right. So, we have a connection here, um, it's going to be going to Eld, right? Eld, good. Now we manage the line from Lilliput. We add Springfield and then El Dorado and then Springfield, right? Okay. What's this complaining about? 
There we go. Where are we? Oh. Okay. And then we... Uh, right. We are going to manage the vehicles on the line and put another one on. Yeah. I think we're going to want two more on there because we have that really long section there. Now, um, we have a train headed for do we have a train headed for Lilliput? We probably don't, do we? No, we don't. Yeah, I don't see one. Okay. Well, let's uh let's pick up the the line. Now, you are going to Beacon Hills. Which way are you going? You're going the wrong way. Okay. You are headed for Utopia. You're headed for Beacon Hills. Going which way? Ah, you're over there. You're the one we want. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's ride this guy, and then we can observe the uh, the scenario here. Right. Oh, look, it's a train going the other way. So while we're riding the train, uh, as of when I'm recording this, uh, I was uh, able to observe a, uh, a YouTuber, Colonel Failure, uh, having a go at NIMBY Rails, which is an upcoming game. Uh, where you're running your rail network on a map of the actual earth yeah i know right uh and this is the a game that uh i'm hoping to uh bring into my tuesday uh time slot now that surviving mars is done at least for a while i won't have it up for this coming uh this coming tuesday because it only releases then, and I won't have time to uh, play it before then. Also, it's a early access, and it's a Windows game, so I'm going to have to be running it under Proton, and that may or may not work. And that is, of course, a major point that will affect whether I can actually do that series or not. But from what I've seen from Colonel uh, Colonel Failures flailing around in there, is that it should be uh, quite uh, quite fun overall, uh, even if it does require a little bit more editing, to uh, than say Transport Fever has and so on. I might end up having to do a few more jumps to uh, to jump past the really boring stuff. Hard to say. Uh, it'll depend on what I end up doing, right? So, uh, it should be interesting overall uh, that, you know, see how, how that works uh, with the, uh, the whole notion of building on the real world map. Uh, so, that will be definitely an interesting uh, difference. 
I think one of the best parts of it is going to be that the scale will be correct. The trains will be the right size, you know, basically. Everything should be the right size because it's being built on a real world map. Uh, the developers, I think, have claimed the map is accurate to the centimeter. That's highly unlikely because we don't have anything accurate to the centimeter. But it'll be accurate and that or at least close enough to accurate. So it should be fun. Uh, and then, of course, I can take my home city or, you know, places that I actually know and run uh, run services in there. And that could be that could be interesting. Right. And of course, then you can have grandiose schemes and it basically it's an endless uh, it, it's a completely endless game because once you get it going, uh, you know, once you get an area built up. You can move on to another town, and you can build intercity uh, connections and all that jazz, right? So, it should be interesting to see how that that pans out. And uh, from what I've seen, like you know, like the interface is pretty uh, spare, right? You know, it's not all a whole bunch of uh, fancy gugas, which I think is a good thing. Uh, and it's early access, so. Uh, it can only get better, right, as they continue developing the game, uh, improving things, and so on. Uh, they've got, uh, from the discussions I've seen uh, with the uh, developer, who actually engages the community, so there's that. From what I've seen, uh, there's uh, some uh, significant improvements coming down the line for signaling uh, and uh, things like that, so... The game should change markedly as it develops after the early access release. But from what I saw from Colonel Failures flailing around, and of course that's just what he does, right? Uh, from what I've seen, it looks like the gameplay is at least there to the point where you can actually do something useful with it. Or at least, uh, you know, well, useful, yeah. Uh, something that actually works. The gameplay is is functional and that is i think important right okay we're coming up here on lilliput and then we're going to be coming through to our newly built track over here i want to see that ride through that uh that valley down into el dorado that's what i want to see okay so we roll in here, pick up a couple passengers. Then we roll on through. It's a short hop to uh, Springfield, I think it was. And then it's a much longer hop to the next stop. So I think we're going to pick up a fairly full load here. Some of these passengers are probably going back the other way, but they didn't get rerouted when the line changed. So yeah, we're picking up a fairly we're picking up a full load here and moving onward. But I think we're just picking up passengers that would have been picked up by the train going back the other way. At least part of them. Anyway, uh, we're moving on here to the next one. Springfield, yep. Okay. Yeah, this is a short hop one. Uh, we got lucky with the road there, uh, where we just had a convenient uh, spot we could bridge, right? So, you know, there was that. Now we come in here. This actually looks okay. Well, we got people already jumping on board here, so... Yeah, we might need even more trains on the line here, ultimately.
right? So we're going to drop off a few. Quite a, quite a bit more than a few. There must have been some uh, latent demand for coming over here. And we're picking up passengers to continue on. So yeah, there is definite demand here. So this might actually help with traffic by having these uh, connections here. Of course, the other thing is if you provide more better connections, then the traffic will spread out as well. So I imagine that will have an impact as well. Problem is, uh, as the connections increase, well, and you serve more of them, then the towns get bigger. So there's more passengers to send to more places. And yeah, uh, there is a limit, of course, uh, based on the number of towns and connections that you can actually have. But yeah, it can get pretty crazy. Okay, we're out of the initial tunnel there. Now we're coming into the valley. So here's the first valley crossover. Right. It's kind of cool coming into the trees like that, isn't it? Then we head into a cheeky little tunnel. Yeah, I think this was definitely better than just building a whacking great helix. Because a helix would have slowed the train down. It would have been longer, too. Okay, now we've got a bit of a downhill here. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the slow corner, right? And it's still 88k, so, you know, that's not too bad. And then we head back. We continue our uphill journey. You can see the road way down in the valley floor there. And here's our viaduct running through the trees. <laughs> oh, that looks kind of cool. Trees on either side encroaching in. Yeah. Oh, I like that. And then we've got our, our our land has come back. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Uh, I think that's okay. And then we've got, again, the trees. Now, if I'd wanted to fiddle with it for an hour and a half, I could have run the rail along the uh, the side of the hill there. But I didn't. That was just going to be too much fiddling, right? And the episode was going to be long enough already. Okay. Now we've got... Coming up here to... Oh yeah, the bridge over the, the road. And then we come on down into El Dorado. Where we have this whacking great asymmetrical station. And a lot of people waiting to go back the other way. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Oh, this is probably because we connect up to Riverdale. Yeah. Or, uh, or Riverside. One of them. The River Place. Yeah. It's because you can connect through Townville. Townsville. Yeah. That might be... Or, yeah, you can connect up there. That might be a fair, fair part of it, yeah. Well, that's okay then. We're going to take a full load back. Yeah, we're going to take a full load back. Um, 
Yeah. Well, that's definitely going to uh, going to change the equation somewhat. Yeah, so we come in here. Springfield has, well, it does have a road connection to Lilliput. Uh, Lilliput has a road connection to Townsville. Oh, yeah, we got a couple more places where we can run a connection across as well uh we could come out of uh we could make a whacking great hub at towns townsville or um or we could come out of lilliput actually or both come through what is it joliet and hit uh mega city one and possibly swallow falls from there yeah hard to say what to do there uh right okay now we got townsville coming into uh riverdale uh what's our yeah we're, we've got demand on that line so um Oh, wait. Traffic is reduced here. Nice. Um, yeah, so that's going to help with traffic by the look of it. Getting these uh, connections in. Yeah. Getting more connections will help with traffic. That is... It looks like it's definitely going to do that. Okay. Okay good well anyway that's gonna be enough fiddling around for this episode so tomorrow i've got a uh a special uh, uh episode it's probably going to be one one and done maybe two uh it's going to be um what's it called rise of industry uh i don't know how much play it has but i'm going to use that as a filler until i get uh until i get uh nimby rail uh going or something else so there we go uh we've got uh tomorrow is going to be uh rise of industry then we're back to, with free call on wednesday thursday is going to be back here with uh transport fever and Friday is going to be workers and resources again, uh, still. So it looks like workers and resources is going to continue for a while. Uh, this one will continue for a little while. I'm holding off. I'm going to try and hold off as long as I can, starting a new map until the beta version of this is uh, goes gold, so to speak. And uh, yeah, from uh, so we're going to and free call it'll continue probably until the game is uh, finished i'm only doing the one of free call so if it's not your cup of tea uh it's just the one playthrough uh, so yeah uh, i guess uh that's all for this time so stay healthy uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much especially now that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and see you back next time